Hello everyone. This is Darlene. Just thought I'd come out to one of my favorite places again and have a little talk with you. Today I want to talk about when you're under attack, when you know that things just keep coming at you, in what kind of mindset should you be um, and what should you do to make it through? You need to decide if this is a time for war or a time for peace. And you need to decide if it is a time for war, is it time for you to do something or for you to sit back and let God fight the battle for you? This is something that you cannot decide on your own. This is something that you have to be in his presence and you have to seek his advice for. So let's just talk about it. Sometimes when you're under attack, it is truly a time of war. It's not a time for you to sweep things under a rug. It's not a time for you to put your head in the sand. But it's time for you to, with everything inside of you, fight a good fight. Fight the fight that God has given you to fight. And don't quit. Don't quit. Just remember that he will empower you with everything that you need to win the war. Just like he takes care of the birds of the air, he will take care of you because he thinks so much more of you. And remember, when you're in a war, you have to be prepared for that war. So you have to spend time in his presence getting prepared for that war. And you never go into a war, into a battle, without being fully armored. So I'm going to give you a few verses today that pertain to preparing for battle. Actually, I think I'm going to focus on uh, Ephesians 6, 12, 12 through 13. And I'm going to come to you from the New King James Version. And then at the end, I'm going to read you something from Ecclesiastes that is so pertinent to, to deciding at what time and what season of life you're in. So the first verse is from Ephesians 6, 12, um, chapter 6, verses 12 through 13, New King James Version says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of this dark nurse of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all this, to stand. All right, guys. So what part of the armor am I talking about that you must put on? Well, you must put on the belt of truth. You must put on the breastplate of righteousness. You must put on the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And by all means, in prayer and supplication, in the spirit, you must pray for yourself and you must pray for others who are also in battle. In closing, I want to read from you Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting at verses 1 through verse 8. And it reads, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, 
a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to sweep excuse me a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to gain and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to sow a time to keep silence and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace so for every one of you that are listening to me during this episode my prayer is that you find counsel in God and in godly people and that you may truly know what time this is for you. If you've enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, you would like me to respond to something, please leave a message or a comment in the comment section. If you think someone else will be blessed by this video, please share it. God bless you and have a wonderful day.